Ulcers are sores or lesions in your stomach or the upper part of your small intestines. Ulcers develop when the acids that digest foods damage the stomach or intestinal walls. Connected to a variety of causes like stress, diet, and lifestyle, scientists now know that many ulcers are caused by a type of bacteria called Helicobacter pylori, or H. pylori. Left untreated, most ulcers will continue to get worse, so it's important to receive a proper diagnosis and make the dietary and lifestyle changes that will allow you to heal fully. Identify the symptoms of ulcers. Abdominal problems are often difficult to diagnose, since the symptoms of any one problem are reminiscent of lots of different kinds of issues, including gastritis, pancreatitis, Crohn's disease, and a variety of other problems. It's important to see your doctor and arrive at a proper diagnosis if you think you may have an ulcer, so you can receive the proper care. Ulcer symptoms include, persistent or reoccurring stomach or abdominal pain. Often with pain there is discomfort or bloating sensation in the abdomen. Nausea and vomiting loss of appetite traces of blood in vomit. Dark black or tarry looking stool indicative of bleeding from the upper part of the small intestine. Weight loss, pallor, lightheaded, weakness. This is due to persistent blood loss. Consult your doctor to eliminate other possibilities. If you're having stomach problems, it's not necessarily an ulcer. Based on the history of your symptoms, your diet, and a physical exam your doctor will be able to rule out the possibility or might advise further investigations to confirm it. The doctor may start you on medication to reduce the pain and acidity if the symptoms are mild inform the doctor if there is persistence of blood in your vomit or if the stools continue to appear black or if your symptoms worsen. There may be an underlying serious condition that needs to be taken care of. In such a case you will be asked to undergo investigations. Get a diagnosis. Your general practitioner may recommend that you visit a GI, gastrointestinal, specialist, during which time you may go through the following tests which can be used to properly diagnose any kind of digestive ulcer. Non-invasive tests include, ultrasound whole abdomen MRI upper gastrointestinal, GI, X-ray series. After drinking a chalky substance called barium, you will have x-rays taken to look for signs of ulcers in your stomach. Once the ulcer is detected, the doctor may advise endoscopy to know the exact location and extent of the ulcer. While you are under mild sedation, the doctor will insert a thin tube with a small camera at the end down your throat and into your stomach. The camera allows the doctor to see inside of your digestive tract and tack a tissue sample. This is a simple and almost painless procedure. Blood tests. These will be performed to check for growths or antibodies to H. pylori, a bacteria commonly associated with gastritis and ulcers. Stool tests with culture is done to confirm bleeding and also the presence of H. pylori. Tackle the root of the issue. Ulcers need to be healed by addressing the underlying condition of the ulcer specific to you. That's why it is important to get a proper diagnosis and follow through with your doctor's recommended treatment. Most treatments involve medication, eliminating the cause of the ulcer and dietary changes. Often, H. pylori infection is to blame, in which case the doctor will prescribe an antibiotic to help eradicate it. In some cases, you may be prescribed proton pump inhibitor like omeprazole, prilosec, or an H2 agonist, pepsid which blocks the production of acid in your stomach and allows your stomach to heal. In extreme cases, surgery may be necessary or if complications develop as a result of ulcers that go too long without treatment. Avoid taking NSAIDs and aspirin. Aspirin and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, can cause ulcers, and can exacerbate the symptoms. Avoid taking NSAIDs while you have an active ulcer and for extended periods of times thereafter. If you need to take medication to deal with pain symptoms, ask a doctor about your options. In some cases, you might be able to take a NSAID along with an acid reducer, or pursue alternative pain treatments. Try over-the-counter antacids to help to reduce your symptoms. Often you will feel indigestion and heartburn, with burning, and nausea in the upper abdomen under the ribs. 
Antacids can be used to provide temporary relief of symptoms, but will not ultimately cure ulcers. In fact, some antacids may interfere with the effectiveness of prescription medications, so talk to your doctor before taking them. Over-the-counter antacids choices include, calcium carbonate, found at products like Tums and Rolades, is probably the most common ODC antacid. Sodium bicarbonate products such as Alka-Seltzer and Pepto-Bismol, bismuth subsalicylate, can also be used to soothe the lining of the stomach, and are widely available. Magnesium hydroxide is also common recommended, marketed as Philips Milk of Magnesia. A mix of aluminum hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide is sold as Maalox, Mylanta, and other brands. Less common antacids include aluminum hydroxide, sold under the brand names Alternagel and Amphogel, among others.